guys. So hopefully you can see me. It looks like I'm in frame. I don't know. My head might be cut off, but <laughs> I'm jumping on here today to give an update on Magnum. If you follow my Schnells around Facebook page, you know that Magnum had to go to the vet yesterday. Um, I had posted a picture yesterday on my Facebook and my um, Instagram page of Magnum not wanting to come inside the house. Well, I found out right away after I took that picture and posted it is because he did not feel good and he was out there throwing up. <laughs> I didn't know. Um, and he proceeded to throw up five more times um, and he just was not, it, I could tell it wasn't the normal, he just ate something where his stomach was just upset a little, you know, I could tell it was you know pretty serious um just by the way he was acting because he's had an upset tummy before and it didn't take him down as much as uh this did so you know what i forgot my paper um that tells me to remind me what all he has going on he basically has a party going on in his gut he has a bunch of stuff going on so as you can see i have all these meds i'm gonna go get that piece of paper i'll be right back Okay, let me, this is why I have my apron on so I could hold some of these meds <laughs> while I'm talking. <laughs> Aprons come in handy for many things besides getting dirty. And he thinks he's getting some of his meds. I had this set up here. I got my daughter's stool because this is, seems to be his favorite spot since he's been sick. Here, you can sit down. Sit down. It's okay. I'm not giving you any medicine right now. And all the other boys are over here thinking they're getting some cheese too. Um, okay, so... What's going on with Magnum? Um, they did a fecal cytology. They found spore forming rods, which is, uh, if I murder, I'm gonna put the words right here. You're gonna see them right here by my chair, um, cause I'm probably gonna uh, murder how they're pronounced, but Clostridia, uh, his white blood cell count and red blood cell count were off. They found purple yeast bodies which is Giordia. Um, so he has intestinal parasites, two Cocidia, two types of Cocidia. I have not Googled any of this yet. A um, couple things, I Googled roundworms. Um, so Cocidia, she put in parentheses, two types. And he has roundworms. Um, and when I googled that, we couldn't figure out what he may have eaten because he eats anything. I found him today trying to eat a feather. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I googled roundworms and it says it can be from eating rodents, worms, birds. The eggs could be in the soil. They could be on plant material, which they did find um, varieties, varieties of plant material in his fecal um, uh, testing <laughs> so I don't know if he was eating that because he wasn't feeling good or what but they figured it was probably grass and leaves so yeah that's what he's got going on um, no pancreatitis um, he's just basically got some infections in his gut and the roundworms so he and this all by the way and if you remember in my um, latest expense video I said we needed to tighten the budget I should have never said that because <laughs> came to bite me in the butt everything cost three hundred and eighty dollars and seventy three cents and some of the stuff she said because I told him that that Magnum as well as Max and Marley like to eat their brother's poops so that could have brought on some of the um parasites too so anyway yeah so almost four hundred dollars I did not have to dip into my emergency fund I had the money in there but if for some reason we come up short later before my husband gets paid again we could always take it out of the emergency fund and then replace it when he gets paid we're trying not to touch that emergency fund I mean unless it's absolutely unnecessary we're hoping just our personal funds can pay for things like this that come with that come up um, unless it became like a thousand or more dollar bill uh, 
So, yeah, so I didn't have to dip into it, but I'm glad it's there just in case we needed to use it for some reason. Um, okay, so medicine. While he was there, they gave him an injection of anti-nausea medication, and they gave him some fluids. So, um, medication. Panazarel. Um, he had to take four milliliters of that. And then I need to go back in a week and get another uh, four milliliters for him with this. I think he's only got to take it. It says quantity four. I don't know. So I don't know if, if he has to, it says repeat in one week. So I don't know if he just has to get, do it one more time. Um, I can't remember what this treats. If I Google it, I will type it right here what that treats. No, you do not want this. This is an empty bottle. Okay. Um, next is the Serenia. This is for anti-nausea. I got to get him a, a pill tonight. They, since they gave him the injection, <laughs> stop. I gotta give, you take it every 24 hours, so I've gotta give him one of these tonight. And then we have Panacure C. Um, this is the dewormer, and it's three packets in here, and it's like a powder, and you have to sprinkle it on their food. You do it every 24, once every 24 hours, and there's three in here. So I'll have to sprinkle this on his dinner later. The first packet I did yesterday, I sprinkled it on some canned food because I thought it might entice him to eat. Because I was worried he wasn't going to eat because he wasn't eating all day yesterday. He did eat his breakfast very slowly and then he threw that up. And then he didn't eat the rest of the day. He wanted nothing. Um, but he ate a little bit of that canned food. Um, but he didn't eat it all. So I'm hoping since he didn't eat all this in the first dose, I hope these other two he eats... Um, all his food, which he ate all his breakfast, his lunch, he ate a dental treat today, and he ate a little milk bone when I had to put him in his crate, and everything's been staying down, so hopefully when he eats his dinner, he'll get another, he'll get a full dose of this in tonight. Okay, then we have Metronazol, <laughs> I know I'm murdering this. <laughs> I know I am. He has to take a half tablet by mouth twice daily until gone. For 10 days until gone. Um, I think this might treat the Cocidia. I can't remember. Like I said, I'll type it right here. Um, so, got that. And then we have what I had to give Kitten when he was having the diarrhea. Um, Propectolin. Anti-diarrhea gel. So he gets two cc's of this. You just kind of turn the dial here, two dots, and then you take the uh, little cap off and you squirt it in their mouth. It's like a paste. So he takes that to help with the diarrhea. And I believe she said to give it to him just until his poop gets firm again. So yeah, five medications. Um, let's see if I can find how much they cost in case you guys are interested on the cost of the medicines. I don't know if they broke it down. The Serenia cost, oh geez, I need something to, I need my glasses. <laughs> That's what I need. I'm bad not wearing them. That cost $22.66. The Pana Zero cost $20. The Panicure cost $11.25. The Metro Nadazel cost $13.75. And the, the anti-diarrhea gel, that was the most, $31.81. Serenia, $16.25. So yeah, it came to a lot. Let's see here. They did a canine panel catalyst. I believe that's the blood work. $78.61. Uh, it says a CBC with differential, $33. Not sure what that is. The pancreatitis snap test, $39.90. The exam slash consultation was $38. The fecal cytology was $19.75. The intestinal parasite test was $20.95. Fluids they gave him was $27.84. The serenia injection, the anti-nausea um, medication was $22.66. 
yeah and then the rest is the medicine so like i said a total three three hundred and eighty dollars and seventy three cents all because magnum wants to eat anything and everything <laughs> i'm laughing because it's just it's just uh it's I mean, I was upset yesterday because I was worried about it. And because then she told me, do I have any mushrooms in my yard? And I told her I had seen a couple because she's, because it had been so dry and then we had a lot of rain. We've got some mushrooms growing. And she told me there was something called the death mushroom. And I'm thinking, and this is before I knew what was wrong with them. <laughs> and I'm thinking, sorry, I'm looking to see what Mozzie's eating. Okay. Um, I'm thinking... Why would you tell me about a death mushroom? You know, and then I'm sitting there waiting for blood work and all I kept thinking is, because I asked her what do they look like and she said they, they kind of look like just a typical mushroom. They're like a grayish brown with the bell shape, which that's the kind of mushrooms I have in my yard. <laughs> so I'm sitting there thinking, oh my God, is he going to die? What, why would she even tell me that? I don't understand why vets... Or maybe it's just me. I don't want to know the worst case scenario right away. Find out what it is first, and then if it's something bad, tell me then. Don't make me sit in the waiting room, or the room waiting for, I think it was almost 30 minutes I had to wait. She said the test would only take 15 minutes, but it took about 30 because they were short a doctor yesterday, um, and they were pretty busy. But uh, I'm thinking I'm sitting there for 30 minutes. I called my husband because he was at a listing appointment, listing a home, and... I'm like, I tell him, and he's like, what are they thinking, Tony? Me oh, I should have said something. I'm the kind of person where I think later on, I should have said something to the vet, you know. Maybe you shouldn't tell people the worst case scenario before you even know what's going on, you know. I don't know. But I'm just one who don't say, I don't say anything. I mean, unless I'm really PO'd. So anyways, yeah, that's what's going on. And as you can see, he's just kind of, I mean, he's got his appetite back. But he's, and he will chase a squirrel. He will bark at the neighbor's dog if he's out there. But that's about all he's really doing uh, to exert any energy. He's just been kind of resting and taking it easy, which I would be too if I had all that going on in my belly. Yes, taking it easy. Um, he didn't have... The diarrhea until we uh, came back from the vet. Um, he hadn't went poop that I noticed until we came back, and it was just you know liquid. Um, so he's had some diarrhea, and but the vomiting has stopped since they gave him that shot. Thank goodness. I had to steam clean my floors last night. <laughs> I think it was almost 11 o'clock at night. I was I put them to bed and I was steam cleaning the carpet because he had thrown up a couple times on the floor and I used that Nature's Miracle to clean it up and but I just I'm like oh I gotta steam clean my floors you know I just felt like I could still smell it <laughs> I just you know that's just me I guess so yeah so thanks everybody on Facebook who uh, were sending out prayers to Magnum. He's gonna be fine. It's probably gonna take him a couple days to get back to normal um, taking all his meds and uh, getting some rest. so thank you guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Sorry guys. I always forget to I think after I turn off the camera, I think I didn't say this so. <laughs> A lot of people on my Facebook page were asking if they gave um, me anything for the other boys, and they did not. They just told me when he goes number two to quickly pick it up. Make sure it's picked up immediately and disposed of. So I've got a hose hooked up because you can't really pick up diarrhea. So I got a hose picked up um, to clean it up, wash it away. So Max, Max, get out of there. I always want to get the checking out the bird food. I asked her about bird food and she said unless he ate a whole bag it's not going to do anything. <laughs> so yeah I just wanted to mention that too in case anybody wondered um, if the other boys may get it. They could if they ate his poop but I'm getting it cleaned up right away. So now we're going to say goodbye because I'm sure Miggy yes he has put his ball by my feet so I have to kick the ball a couple times. So see you guys later. Bye.